Choose an operation, part one. This is about clue words, lesson 5.7a. Clue words are words that give us an idea to solve a problem. Dave had four cookies. He ate one cookie. How many cookies does he have left? The clue words, ate, how many, and left, tell us what to do. Ate, how many, and left. They tell us to subtract. He had four cookies. He ate one. He ate one cookie, so that cookie is gone. We take one cookie from the four that he had. How many left? Three cookies. We use subtraction. He ate one, it went away. So we have to remember when we're solving word problems, we need to ask ourselves, what do we need to find? And what information do we use? And how will we use the information? We also have to ask ourselves, are we looking for a total or are we looking for a difference? There's some clue words. There's many, many clue words. These are just some of them. For addition, we'll see clue words like gets more, gives more, how many in all, total, some, some is the answer for an addition problem, isn't it? Added to, both, plus, plus is the sign we use for addition. For subtraction, we'll see words like give away, went away, how many left, fewer, less, taken from, minus, minus is the sign we use for subtraction, or difference, difference is the answer for subtraction. And we will see these words in the problem. Or we will see words that have the same meaning as these words. So maybe they won't be the exact words as this, but if we saw flew away, ran away, jumped away, or anything along that type of words, we know it means went away, doesn't it? If we're looking for a total, we know we need to add. If we're Looking for a difference, we know we need to subtract. Should we add or subtract? We'll use the clue words. Five birds are in a tree. Three birds flew away. How many birds in the tree now? We use the clue words flew away to know that they went away. That's subtraction, isn't it? So are we looking for a total or a difference? We're looking for a difference between the birds that were in the tree and the three that flew away. This is subtract. Six dogs in the park. Four more dogs come to the park. How many dogs are at the park? Should we add or subtract to find the answer? When we look at the clue words more and come, that tells us that there are now more dogs at the park, so we need to add the four and the six. We need a total of all the dogs that are in the park. Bob has three dogs and two cats. How many pets does he have in all? When we look at the clue words in all and that tells us we're looking for a total of all of his pets. That means we need to add to find the answer. Dave has seven video games. Tim has 10 video games. How many more games does Tim have than Dave? Would we add or subtract to solve this? Well, we know Dave has seven, but Tim has more, doesn't he? He has 10. What are they asking of us? They wanna know how many more Tim has than Dave. They wanna know the difference between how many Dave has and Tim has. We would have to subtract to find a difference, wouldn't we? Now look at this. Now it says, how many video games do they have? 
we look at the clue words, how many they have, and we know that it wants how many they have all together in all. They want a total of all of the games. They want a total, that means we need to add. Emma has eight cupcakes. Tim has three fewer cupcakes than Emma. How many cupcakes does Tim have? It's asking us how many cupcakes Tim has. He has three fewer than Emma. That means he has three less than Emma, doesn't it? And they want to know how many he has. We need to find the difference between an eight and a three. And to find a difference, we need to subtract. In our next lesson, we're going to do several word problems and choose an operation, and we're going to solve them. And that'll be part two, lesson 5.7b. So I hope you now understand about looking for a total or looking for a difference and how the clue words in the word problem can help us find out the answer and how to solve it. And I'll see you next video, and let's try solving some real word problems, okay? I hope I'll see you there. Bye.